Do you want to be a great singer? Then be very vowel conscious. We sing on vowels. The vowel carries the tone. So, to be a great singer, master your vowels. Welcome back to another edition of Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Tips. 30 years of teaching voice, 42 years of studying voice, all different styles. I take serious vocal technique and make it simple and fun. So, if we sing on vowels and we must tell a story with our singing, then the vowels better be good, meaning they better be clear and aligned. So, in this video, we're going to do four things. Number one, we're going to discuss the five main, the, in other words, the standard singing vowels in any language. Number two, how to make your vowels clear. Number three, how to make your vowels aligned. And number four, how to apply to a song. Now, this will also help you in how to sing legato, how to sing a smooth and beautiful vocal line. I have lots of videos on vowels, including an entire playlist. I'll include all the links in the description below. So, the five standard singing vowels in any language are a, a, e, o, and u. There are many, many other vowels depending upon what language you are singing, but these are the five main singing vowels. Now, we have the darker vowels and the brighter vowels. The darker vowels are formed a little further back and the tongue is a little bit lower. And those three vowels are a, ah, o, oh, and u. Can you say that with me, please? A, ah, o, oh, and u. Great. The brighter vowels are e and a. They are formed further in the front of the mouth. The tongue sits higher on the brighter vowels. Can you say it with me? They are E and A. Let's say it. E and A. Great. Now, we're going to say the five vowels first, starting with the darker or the back vowel A. Ah, and it's going to be A, ah, A, E, O, U. Let's do it. A, ah, A, E, O, U. Ooh, try not to overpronounce and do weird things with your face because all that's going to do is make you sound strange, okay? Now, we're going to start with the front vowel, E, and it's going to be E, A, A, O, U. You notice I'm not overpronouncing, I'm not making any facial contortions because all that's going to do is make you sound like you have five different voices. So, here we go. E, A, A, O, U. Ooh, great. Now let's say the five vowels quickly, starting with ah, like this. A, E, E, O, U. Here we go. A, E, E, O, U. Great. Let's say it starting with the E vowel. E, A, A, O, U. Again. E, A, A, O, U. Great. Now if you can say the vowels quickly while being smooth and clear, you are more likely to be able to sing them that way too. How do we get clear vowels? Vowels that are beautiful, that are resonant, and that are clear and understood. Follow my advice. We mainly make the vowel changes with our lips and tongue. Maybe slightly with the jaw and slightly with the soft palate, depending upon what you are singing, but primarily the lips and tongue. Listen, you leave your throat alone. We don't make the vowel changes by changing our throat shape because you're going to distort your sound and sound like you are maybe five different people. General rule, your tongue rests in the bed of your mouth. It will sit higher on some vowels and lower on other vowels, but we never hike the tongue up, nor do we force or push it down. Also, generally, tip of the tongue sits behind your bottom front teeth. Now, there are certain exceptions to that for styles, such as in country and in blues, and I'm sure a lot of other styles, but right now, we're really not thinking about style. We're just doing plain old vanilla vowel exercises. So let's begin first by speaking the vowel and then singing it. And I want you to speak it around the pitch that you're going to sing it. Listen. Ah, ah, 
Here we go. Ah. Ah. Your tongue should have just felt nice and free, resting in the bed of the mouth, okay? Not forced or pushed down, certainly not hiked up. And remember, we need that natural tongue hump. Now, a lot of people have trouble with ah. When I was a young singer, I had trouble with my ah for years, and it took me two years to fix it. So, make sure that you aim for a nice, clear, focused vowel, not a muddy vowel or spread. So, we don't want ah or ah. No, simply ah, ah. Let's do it one more time. Next, A, like maid. Speak it first. A, sing. A. Or, don't forget, you could be doing this up here, too. A. Do it in your own range. So, A is another tricky vowel for a lot of people. I find a lot of singers press on A. They go, a, and they squeeze their throat. A, remember, I told you, leave your throat alone. The throat just stays nice and free. Make the vowel changes with your lips and tongue, and you will sound a lot better and have more fun. Next, E. For me, E is my easiest vowel. For some singers, E is their hardest vowel. But speak it first, E, then sing. E, or up here. If you have trouble with E, I'm going to guess that your tongue is probably a little bit tight. E Watch my video on the E vowel. Also, if you have trouble with the A vowel, watch my video on the A vowel. Another issue with E is a lot of people sing E nasal like this. E or E. And why is that? Because they let their soft palate fall too low. E. Okay. Also, if the jaw is tight, it will often show up in E too, like this. E, okay? If you have a tight jaw, watch my video on the tight jaw. Oh, let's speak it. Oh, so not oh, no. Oh, like, oh, there you are. Oh, great. Sing. Oh. Rounded lips for oh. If you don't round your lips, it's not going to sound like oh. It's going to be uh. No, oh. However, don't do anything weird like pulling your top lip down or else we're gonna get this. Oh. We don't want any distortions. Next, oo. Oo is often one of the hardest vowels for singers. Why? Because they close their throat. So leave your throat out of it and make the oo with rounded lips. Oo. Speak first, oo. Now, if you have trouble with oo, watch my video on the oo vowel. There are different kinds of oos depending upon what style you are singing. We definitely don't want a hooty owl sound like this. Oo! Or we don't want the squeeze sound like this. Oo! I bet you some of you are doing that right now. Remember, when we fix one vowel, it often winds up fixing the rest of the vowels because like I always say in singing, Everything works together. So we've gone through speaking and singing each of the five vowels. Now remember, you want your voice to be resonant, a voice that has color and ring. You want your vowels to be clear and resonant. You want a voice that has a balance of both ring and color, bright and dark, what the classical school of singing calls chiaro scuro. Watch my videos on resonance. How do we make our vowels more aligned? In other words, how are we going to sing a nice vocal line? Remember, each vowel has its own unique color, absolutely. You don't want to sing like you have only one vowel, the univowel, like this. But you also don't want I oh. That sounds like you have five different voices. So what is the answer? 
you make these small changes with your lips and tongue. Remember, every single thing we do physically affects the sound. So if you want to have five different voices, then make these huge changes. But if you want to sound like you have one smooth voice, these are very small changes. No different than when you talk. We don't do all these weird things when we talk. Well, you don't want to do it when you sing either. So let's go back to our exercise of singing the five vowels on a single note, like this. Nice and smooth. Here we go. Let's try it up here for the high voices. Let's repeat, starting with the bright vowel, E. So it's going to be E, A, A, O, U, okay? Also, no stopping, no E, A, A, no, one smooth line, all in one breath, like this. E, A, A, O, U, sing. E, A, A, O, U, for the high voices. And remember, we want that drone of the voice, the melodic beauty of the voice to be in every vowel. Believe me, all this work on vowels is well worth it because you will progress more quickly because you will know what your best vowels are and what your weaker vowels are. A lot of times singers will have trouble with a song and they'll say, oh, I just can't sing this or it doesn't sound right. And when I hear them, I say, you know what? It's not your voice, it's just that one particular vowel. We fix the vowel and then oftentimes the whole song takes care of itself. How to apply this to a song? Remember, exercises don't do you any good if you can't apply them to your songs. So we're going to start with a simple love song that most of you have heard. Can't help falling in love with you. First, we're going to speak the line, cause I can't help falling in love with you. Okay, notice smooth diction. Okay, the mouth is not all over the place. Let's speak it. Because I can't help falling in love with you. Great. Now, the song goes like this. Because I can't help falling in love with you. But we're going to sing it on a single vowel first. Why? Because I want to make sure that the line is smooth on one vowel before I make it harder with the words. Will you join me, please? I'm going to sing it on ah. You can sing it on any vowel that you want. Ah, 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 ah. Great. So remember, don't waste your time and say, oh, this is easy. Ah, ah, that's not going to help you. This is to develop a nice smooth line as well. Now we're going to sing that same passage on the vowels of the song. What does that mean? We're going to take out the consonants and sing it on the vowels. And for many of you, this will be very challenging. So you'll probably have to write it down, but it goes like this. You see, I took the consonants out and sang a smooth vowel line. Not That's not helping you at all. Nice and smooth is what we want. Now we're ready to put the consonants back in and sing the lyrics of the song smoothly. So what are we going to do? We're going to place the consonants on the vowel line without disturbing the line. Cause I can't help falling in love with you. I think this is worth doing again. Make sure you know what you're doing so that you will be able to apply this to your other songs. If your jaw is flapping up and down, if it's tight like this, falling in love, cause I can't help flapping up and down like a chihuahua, 
you're never going to sing a nice smooth vowel line. You certainly won't sound romantic. So if your jaw is tight and flapping, watch my video on the tight jaw. I have several. So let's do this one more time. A nice romantic love song. Cause I can't help falling in love with you. Beautiful. Victoria's wisdom. We sing on vowels. The vowel carries the tone. To be a great singer, master your vowels. I hope you have enjoyed another edition of Victoria's Victorious Vocal Tips. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, leave me some comments, leave me some thumbs up, and continue mastering your beautiful and aligned vowels. And I look forward to seeing you all very soon.